Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about finding symmetry using algebra. So we're going to be using algebra methods to find the symmetry of a graph. And now before we get started, I just wanted to point out that there are two videos linked below in the description box that I would suggest you guys check out before you watch this video, just because I do touch on both of those concepts, which is symmetry on a graph and even an odd function. So I do touch on those and we use some methods explained in those videos. So I would go check those videos out before you continue. But if you're already familiar with the terms then we can just get started so first of all what I want to point out is the sort of um, overlapping between two terms so y-axis symmetry is essentially when a graph is symmetric across the y-axis if a graph has y-axis symmetry that means that function is even and if a function is even that means that graph has symmetry across the y-axis to show this in a graph let's just draw a simple parabola and let's have its vertex at the origin and make it look something like this. This graph is symmetric across the y-axis. This is the y-axis and it's sort of, sort of like perfect halves. It's perfectly symmetric across the y-axis. Therefore, this function is even. Now we don't know the actual function, but we can say that the graph is even, therefore the function is even. And now I'm gonna introduce you to another sort of similarity between two terms, and that is origin symmetry and odd. So if a function has origin symmetry, that is, if it's symmetric across the origin, then the function will be odd. If a function is odd, it will have origin symmetry. So it works vice versa as well. So let's draw a simple graph. And this is sort of like the graph of an odd function. Let's say this is the origin and then this is your graph. This function is symmetric across the origin. It's kind of hard to tell because the origin is a single point in the middle. But this graph is symmetric across the origin, therefore this graph is odd. So now let's connect these terms and use algebra to find the symmetry when we're not given a graph. Okay, so let's work on our first question. We're given the equation y equals x squared. We're not given the graph, we're just given this equation and asked to find the symmetry. So to find the symmetry, we know that y-axis symmetry results in an even function and origin symmetry results in an odd function. So we can use the method of finding if a function is even or odd and then correlate it back to your symmetry. So to find if a function is even or odd, I recommend you go and watch that video on even or odd functions, but I will brush up on it a bit right now. So what you're gonna do is just substitute a positive and negative version of a number into your function. So let's do positive two. You just substitute it for x, so we get positive two squared, which is equal to four. And now let's do negative 2 because it's the negative version. So negative 2 squared, which is also equal to positive 4 because the negatives cancel. So this is the final answer for both of our substitutions. Now, as you can see, both of these numbers are equal. If both of your numbers are equal after you substitute a positive and negative version of a number, if both of your final answers are equal, that means that your function is even. And if you know your function is even, that means that it has y-axis symmetry. So essentially, we're just using the method of knowing whether it's even or odd to see what the symmetry is. And we don't have a graph. If we had a graph, this is what the graph would look like. This graph of the parabola that I drew is the graph of y equals x squared. But if you don't know the graph, this is sort of an easy way to sort of just deduce what kind of symmetry it has. Okay, so let's do that same method for this question as well. We're given the equation y equals x cubed, and we want to know what the symmetry is. So let's substitute a positive and negative version of a number. Let's do positive and negative 2 as well. So if you substitute positive 2 for x, you're going to get 2 cubed, which is just equal to positive 8. If you substitute negative 2 cubed, you're going to get negative 8. Why? Because negative 2 cubed is just negative 2 multiplied 3 times. These two negatives cancel, but you still have one more negative. Therefore, your answer will be negative, and you would just multiply 2 3 times, and you're going to get 8. So your final answer is 8. Now, as you can see, we got positive 8 for our first one and negative 8 for our second one. These two numbers are the same number. They're still 8, but they're positive and negative versions of each other. Therefore, they're different. That means that the function is odd. If you got the same number like 8, but positive 8 and negative 8, that means the function is odd. But if you do like negative 5 and 3, that means it's not even and it's not odd. But it has to be the same number. So for example, in this case, 8, but it's positive and negative. So since we know the function is odd, it has origin symmetry. So that means that it is symmetric across the origin. And now if you know the graph, you know that this is the graph of y equals x cubed. This graph that I drew over here is the graph of y equals x cubed. But if you don't know that, then this is sort of a way for you to deduce that it has origin symmetry. 
Okay, so let's do our last question. We're given the equation y equals x cubed plus 1, and we want to know what kind of symmetry it has. So we're going to do the same steps as we did last time and substitute a positive and negative version of a number. So let's substitute positive 2. So positive 2 cubed plus 1. And again, you can substitute any number. I'm just doing 2 for simplicity's sake. But positive 2 cubed is 8. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Now let's do negative 2. So if we substitute negative 2 for x, we'll get negative 2 cubed plus 1. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 1 is equal to negative 7. And as you can tell, 9 and negative 7 are two completely different numbers. They're not even positive and negative versions of themselves. Therefore, this function is neither even nor odd. That means it's not even and it's not odd. If it's not even and it's not odd, that means it has no symmetry. So the final answer for this would be that this function has no symmetry. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment them down below.